Hey guys, what's up? Lamar here. I got some new updates going on for our old beetle. Stick around and we'll show you what's going on. Okay, so what's been going on? Obviously, you can see here in the background that we got the old deal port tucked all up in the back end of this, this beetle. And uh, I'm going to show you just a few things here that uh, we got new on the car. We got a new, this is a new to me pulley. Uh, I'm not too keen with it right now. I don't believe it's a power pulley. Uh, we got a new distributor with the vacuum advance on it, new fuel pump, new carburetor, and you got a new alternator. And, you know, just the basic stuff, you know, we got some new gaskets here, which I don't have the um, hose clamps on yet. Uh, we got all new rings in the engine. Uh, we got all new seals and gaskets and everywhere else that we've done. I've done a couple of little things here since I'm not going to be running the heaters. I come in here on each side and I cut them little tubes off and uh, I uh, welded it all up. I got me a new um, rear engine tin that's coming in. And then so when we get all that done... We will uh, get the apron all back on, and hopefully we'll get the vacuum lines run. I don't have a belt for this thing yet um, because this pulley, like I said, is a smaller pulley. It's called a power pulley, and uh, it's a 10 millimeter by 850 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, nobody here locally has one, so uh, I'm having to source one out to get one in. So what's uh so what happens once I got it in? What happened was is the old Bosch 12 volt starter that was in it was really dragging, and it just would not turn the engine over. So uh, I guess at that point, what I'd done was uh, I crawled up under the car and uh, I checked the um, ground strap to the transmission because it makes sure it's all grounded back to the frame and stuff. So I got up under there and yes, it was, well, I would say no, it wasn't grounded all properly. So I cleaned it all up, scrubbed it all up with a little wire brush and uh, just mounted it right to the frame and locked everything down like it's supposed to be come back out and I tried it again. No, no, no bueno, didn't go. So then uh, I went ahead and I re-pulled the engine and next thing was to check the bushing in the starter. So uh, you know that this is a swing axle. So in a swing axle, uh, it has, a, I think it's a five eighths hole. I, I'm not really sure for that bushing to fit in and then uh, the bushing walls are thicker from a swing axle transmission to a independent rear suspension transmission, transaxle. So the hole is different. So the, the bushing is gonna be thicker when you're going with a 12 volt uh, starter versus a six volt starter. So the bushing, was, the bushing was perfect, bushing was fine. So I pulled the, the starter back off and I laid it on the floor and tested it some people say do it and some people say don't, but I went ahead and tested it on the floor and it, you could tell it just didn't have the juice. So uh, I went ahead and ordered a new starter. It was a remanufactured starter and it come with a bushing, but it didn't come, it come with the 12 volt starter to the 12 volt transaxle bushing, which not, didn't work for me. But anyway, I already had that and I got it all mounted up Got everything bolted up, new what new cables, new battery cables, new ground cables. Everything's everything's new, just like we've been doing all the way through the car. So I got all that stuff done. And uh the only thing we didn't do is uh right here I've got hooked to the uh, the fuel pump, new, brand new lines, and I've got them run around, but I do not have the Fuel tank, the fuel tank's at another location. It needs to be cleaned up real good, then set in. So um, what we've done is we just squirted some fuel down into the carburetor and uh, 
I'm going to show you real quick what it what it sounded like and what it done. So uh, the, the squirt and the fuel just kind of got it primed up a little bit. And then later what we done is we disconnected the, the inline fuel filter, which I mounted up underneath. Um, I disconnected it and then I run a new line from that tube down into a standard old five gallon gas can and just stuck it up under the car to uh, see what you're about to see on another little video. Okay, so the little uh, clip that you just seen was when we first cranked it up. And uh, you may have heard a little thump or a bump there at the beginning when it first fired up. It's because I've got an inexperienced cranker that was sitting in the car. But she's been a big help, and she's helped me all through the times and crawling up under it and learning and stuff too. But, hey, it, it's, it's going to be fine. So uh, that's kind of where we're at, guys. And, uh, I mean, this is... Uh, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, I'll, I'll be back in a few days to show you some more things. And uh, if you want to know what starter that I used for this, if you'll just look down in the bottom here in the description of, of uh, what I put in there, I'll put you a, a link in there. Now, maybe not a link, but I'll put you a description and part number and everything uh, of what it is and where I got it at. So, hey, listen, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell, and bug out.